Sunrise Day Camp is a day camp for children with cancer and their siblings. Everything is tuition free. We want everyone to come. We want them to be able to just be kids in an environment that's friendly, in an environment that's fun, and it doesn't feel like a hospital, it doesn't feel like a medical center, it feels like camp. What we set out to do wasn't just to build a summer day camp for children with cancer, but to build the best summer day camp that you could build. We're in eight camps right now, Baltimore, Atlanta, we have three in New York, and we have three camps in Israel as well. Camp really starts on the bus. Once everyone arrives, they meet with their group of campers that they're gonna be with for the day, who are usually kids in similar age. Then we have time for a morning assembly, we all get together, we have some time for songs and cheers, and then they're able to just go play for the day. We have lots and lots of activities for the kids to do. We have all sorts of sports, arts and crafts, and drama, and dance, and yoga, and the kids get to swim every day. One of the things I really love is that we have boating. That's an experience that might be really unique for them. A lot of our campers come from the city, so the fact that they can come up to the country, surrounded by trees with fresh air, it's an experience that's really special, where the kids can just get out and have fun and see really beautiful surroundings that they don't get to see on a normal day. I found out about Sunrise Camp through our social worker at the hospital where my daughter was being treated. She was diagnosed when she was four and things were hard at home. We were struggling. So I opened up to the social worker. She gave me a brochure and it was all about Sunrise. And she said that it's for the whole family, not just for Georgia. And then she hit me with the fact that it's completely free of cost. With four children to send them to day camp for the entire summer, it was amazing. It was like a godsend, the exact time we needed it most. All right, see you guys later, okay? Bye-bye. So I have four kids running around here, and they each have their own favorite part of camp. There's Patrick, who is 10 years old this year. The thing that he loves most about Camp Sunrise is the sports aspect. We have a beautiful basketball court, which is always packed with kids. And he loves Gaga. It's a dodgeball-like game. Georgia, who's eight this year, is very into the crafts. They have an amazing art pavilion. And for the twins, they are just over the moon, the fact that they are in day camp with their older siblings. They come home skipping. They love it so much. I'm licensed as a nurse, and I heard from the camp director that they do have two staff nurses on campus every single day. So naturally, I thought, are you looking for extra help? And he said, yes, in fact, we are, which is amazing because nowhere else would I be able to work at the same exact time my children are at camp. As a cancer survivor myself, I was diagnosed at 19. Coming out of it, I just had a certain empathy that most of my peers did not have. And that's kind of what led me into nursing. I had a strong sense of wanting to get back. Now that I'm here at the camp, I feel as though it, it couldn't be a better match because I have seen these kids. I was one of these children. I am a mom to a child who's going through treatment. I have a special empathy towards these children and a keen understanding of what exactly it is that they need. I didn't have a camp like this to come to. I remember my treatment and my remission being mostly in the hospital. Everything was very isolated. Here, it's incorporating the entire family. I see the smiles on their faces and it just makes me so much happier. Not only do we have this full service, free, full summer day camp for these kids, but the bridge that connects us to the hospitals is our Wheels program. The Sunrise on Wheels program is a full volunteer in-hospital program 
for the children in the oncology units, in the hemonc units, we bring camp to them. And then the children in the hospitals learn about our camp program. And as soon as they have the opportunity and as soon as they're cleared, we get them to camp. And they know that we're gonna make their day just a little bit happier by being there. Cancer has touched us all. These are your neighbor's kids. These are your friend's kids. And each community rises to the occasion and they've made it possible for this to continue to exist. And I think that's really where the success comes in. We can't do this without our donors. When you look around this camp and you look at all that we have, it's because of those people. They're the power behind it. The world is filled with people who need more and filled with people who have more. And those of us who have been blessed and lucky enough to have more, we have an obligation to one another. And to me, Sunrise has been an incredible model for how that's supposed to work. This aspect of their healing, the children being outside the hospital walls, is so therapeutic on so many levels. They're getting their sunshine, they're getting their vitamin D, they're getting their laughter, they're making friends, they're seeing other campers that are going through the same thing as them. We've seen campers who have really started at a low level in there, and they come to Sunrise, and you see their personality come out, and you see them go from a patient to a camper. And when we can provide that experience, you can't ask for anything more than that.